You're minimizing the guilt, period, of just knowing, of knowing intuitively when something needs to be exposed. Yeah, look at that. Exposed. Exposed. Five, seven of Swords represents exposed. Look, unjust, unstable effort. Unstable effort. Somebody's efforts to mislead you, deceive you, um, lie to you, cheat on you, only liberated you. Only brought you financial abundance and joy. Why are you going to feel bad about that? You better feel good about that. Because they cannot do... See, they could never deceive you. They could never lie to you. That's what I'm getting. They could never get you down. You're a fixed energy. Anything that people do to you only makes you stronger, okay? There was a cycle where you were carrying all the weight of somebody's lies, guilt, and deception. And it's saying you no longer have to do that, Aquarius. You are the star. That's right. This is a faded event that has occurred in your life that is bringing you abundance and a huge wish coming true. Um, so you're going to get a sincere apology from somebody that lied to you, Aquarius. This could, again... This could be the energy of Aquarius in your chart. For me, it's my fourth house, energy of the home, the mother. So I'm not an Aquarius, but I could be looking at this reading and going, okay, in my fourth house, somebody, somebody's lies are going to be exposed. And it was fated for them to lie to me and have be made to apologize to me. It was fated for me to walk away. There's somebody you could be walking away from. It's fated for you to be walking away from this person because it's fated for you to heal at this time and receive some type of financial gain from a situation where you were lied to. Somebody's made to apologize to you and you are going to forgive them. Hello, what's up, beautiful Aquarius, my beautiful Aquarians? Welcome back to Vanessa Moon Tarot. Uh, I haven't done a reading for my Aquariuses in a long time, so let's do it. This is for anybody that has Aquarius in their chart, whether it be your sun, moon, your Venus, whatever. And if you don't have an Aquarius placement, you can. this reading is for you also, okay? It's the energy of um, revolutionizing, transforming yourself, okay? I look at Aquarian energy that way, in a thoughtful, most calculated way, um, really just being your most eccentric self, okay? But I also feel like Aquarians, you are the true humanitarians, the living, exposing the unjust things in life okay so i really feel this is about you going getting going getting something after something really wrong gets exposed and just feeling like you're not going to hold back anymore you're going to do what it is that needs to be done look at that stop breaking agreements yeah something's like all right you're not going to keep messing with me <laughs> okay that's what i'm getting like stop breaking agreements you're not breaking any more agreements anymore with anyone or anything that you had going on in your life. All right. You're living, you're staying true to what it is. Um, Aquarius, that's what I'm getting. You're staying true to what it is. You're start, you're finishing what you started. Okay. It's almost like there were excuses being made maybe by people around you or even by yourself that you couldn't do things. But now it's like, nah, you learn from your karma. You're like, nah, 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 nah. I had to pay for each and every time that I didn't do what I said I was going to do. So I'm not doing that anymore. Okay. All right. All right. Learning from karma. Like Aquarius said, I'm not repeating any lessons. I'm not repeating any lessons. Now you have transform anger. All right. All right. So it's saying transform, transform your anger. And now we have release fear. Okay, Aquarius. Okay, I like this. I like this reading. My candle went out just as I said that too. I want to light another one. I like this reading already, okay? Because it's saying like, release the fear that and the anger and transform your anger. Learn from the past and don't even, don't even change who you are or who you're becoming for someone else. But just do what you say you're going to do and everything will work out, okay? Or is this what you need other people to do, Aquarius? Maybe you're the one that always does what you say you're going to do. So I'm getting. Like, you're not allowing things to get in your way or other people to get in your way. You're learning from the past. You're saying, I'm not even going to be mad anymore. If it doesn't work... I'm going to release the fear of needing to hold on to something. Like, I'm not going to break any more agreements with myself. Because this is what I see. I see Lady Justice here. I see the unicorn energy. I see you actually saying, like, I'm not going to compromise my eccentric and unique energy for any, anyone or anything. If you can't appreciate me for who I am, I'm not going to break, break the agreement I had to myself to be who I am. Because in the past when I did that, I just became an angry person. Okay? I just harvested the anger... That, that made me do things or be things that I'm really not. And this is saying release fear of that. This keeps wanting to come out. Minimize guilt. I must leave it out because I actually came out earlier for you and I put it back. Simply because 
Um, it just fell in a weird way, but look, it just showed itself again. So what I'm getting, number 22, minimize guilt when making decisions, okay? Learn from the past. Don't break any agreements with yourself that you make. I know I'm moving the cards all around, but this is how the cards want to be moved for you. Release fear, okay? Release fear of moving around or moving something around or reshaping something, okay? To make it fit the mold you want it to fit in because you learned from the past when you didn't do that, you harbored an energy that didn't serve you and it just slowed you down. That's what I'm getting, Aquarius. It stopped everything from turning around in your favor. Clarify the stop breaking agreements. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we have the devil and the high priestess to clarify that energy. Okay, you, you could have been secretly harboring some insecurities or toxicities that some de demonstrative ways, okay? I'll just put it like that. Um, that were secretly you're codependent on somebody's silence or somebody's or the hope of something, the hope that someone would change or the hope that something would speak its truth, okay? Um, when intuitively you knew that this was never going to happen. You knew that something was toxic or bad. You knew this is also in my energy of possession. Okay. Something is possessed. Okay. It is. Someone or something is possessed. You cannot do anything about it. So stop breaking agreements with yourself that you're going to try to change someone, someone or something. Okay. If you promised yourself you wouldn't do something. I promised myself I would not fall for you. I took my time you made me break the rules that's a song i wrote and it's it's just about saying like stop make stop not listening to yourself because <laughs> because when you don't listen to yourself you get in the same lesson over and over again the devil represents karmic lessons chain and bound to your lower natures you're higher than that you're better than that minimize guilt you don't gotta feel guilt for leaving people behind when you're better and what is better are we all better look at that walk away minimize the guilt of walking away emotionally you are who you are reason for a reason aquarius i'm a mars and aquarius okay i tend to be very i'm a ghoster I'll, i'm gonna keep it real with you i'm a ghoster and I, I forgave myself a long time ago. I did. That's me minimizing guilt because you know what happens? People will make me feel bad for being a ghoster until I got ghosted royally by someone, okay? And I realized that that person ghosted me was keeping me in a negative cycle to prevent me from moving on from them when they had no intention of doing anything right by me. OK, and I realized that is not a product of me. That is a product of them and their insecurities. They get a lot of power from holding me back. So when people ghost you, ultimately, it's not really about you. It's about the fact that they have something else going on that has nothing to do with you. I stop feeling guilty about being a ghoster because when I'm engaged, I'm all the way tapped in, baby. I'm so tapped in that you might be annoyed by me. <laughs> but if I start to naturally move away emotionally, I need to trust that flow. This is an eclipse energy. I allow things to leave my life that don't serve me. If I naturally drift off from someone, it's, hey, it's because guess what? They're really not that interesting. I actually trust my ghosting energy. Uh, 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 it means there's probably something toxic there behind the veil. High priestess represents the veil. The devil is something really toxic and sinister. Stop breaking agreements with people with with yourself that allow you to hold on to really toxic things when you know intuitively behind the veil this is something very bad okay allow yourself minimize the guilt that you always emotionally remove yourself from some things and don't let someone make you feel bad oh you're so quiet aquarius oh you or you you don't you don't you know you don't you don't respond you're guarded you're you you frustrate me okay this is saying um exercise great strength there's a reason that you're guarded or you put walls up or you put boundaries up or you walk away okay from things here you learned your lesson in the past you learn from your karma okay you don't need to feel guilty about putting those walls up that is your strength because you know it's going to make you sick this is a card of sickness transform that anger and aggression that people have towards you that's passion or the passion you have within yourself that just means that you need to transform that into something productive yeah use that to move forward with more hype Okay, Cancerian energy, control your emotions. That's a triumph, that's a victory, that's overcoming. That's marrying your light and dark side, your emotions. Okay, I know, I know I might feel guilty, but at the end of the day, I know I'm smart too. So let me just control that and keep moving forward because it's gonna move you straight forward and fast into something new that's way better for you where you will be engaged. Release the fear and anxiety that you have behind 
disappointing things when you know you're manifesting something much greater, okay? That's Gemini energy. That's that indecisive energy. That's that Virgo energy, that overthinking energy. You know, you are naturally a manifester, okay? If you get disinterested, if you put your guard up, if you get quiet, it's not your toxic. It's that it's time for you to move forward into something better because you're an innovator, okay? That's your energy, Aquarius energy, five of swords, okay? You might feel that... This is, I'm getting the hard energy of somebody making Aquarius feel guilty for the way they are. They, they, they're telling you, you play mind games. You're not playing mind games. You literally just know yourself. And you just know that you're going to waste your time and be committed to something that doesn't serve you. So move on. Okay? Learn from the past. Overcome. Because you have the victory coming in for you real fast. But you had to transform that anger and that guilt into a victory. All right? Don't feel guilty that... You know, you, you might hurt somebody's feelings. It's okay. They were supposed to get heartbroken by you, Aquarius. As long as you have good intentions, that's all that matters. All right? Let's look at your overall. So that was your overall moon message. So let's look at a more specific message. Just, this is just whatever comes out. I don't really censor the readings. Like, okay, this is going to be your love message. This is your career message. If we're going to do that, we're going to do a love reading. Okay? This is just a whatever comes out. All right? It could be love, the career. Career it could be family. It could be your partnership. Um, again, this is the energy of Aquarius. So this is something unjust. This is something that needs revolutionizing in your life. Okay. Um, so like I said, what needs revolutionizing? I'm going to tell you why. Because it's not going to serve you not to. Yes. What I'm seeing is true. Okay. So this could be coming through significant communication, an official letter. Um, it could be like a government situation, a lawyer situation. That's what I'm getting here. The truth is exposed about somebody. Okay. Somebody could wishing to be single so that it come towards you with a love offer as well. And it could be exposed that they always wanted you. They could have been lying. They could have been hiding the fact that they wanted you. The devil. Ooh. So the problem is that somebody was really stuck twisting the truth, lying, okay? Um, believing the things they wanted to believe. It was always meant for you to become the star or lie about you. Okay, the lies that someone did or ex or did against you are only bringing you a victory of financial abundance and only making you the star. It was always destined for someone to lie on you or to try to keep you down and be made to apologize to you because it only makes other people look at you more sincerely, look at you as the truth. So the truth is being exposed by someone's somebody trying to take you down. Aquarius only made you only made you look better. Yeah, you defeated someone here. Look at that. It's teaching, it's teaching them a spiritual lesson, teaching, but in the process, it's also teaching others because you hold rank in the spiritual realm. Okay. It says it telep telepathic. This could be a, a whole institution. Okay. Now when I have the Hierophant and the devil, that gives me like, um, Illuminati vibes. Okay. So it's just a dark institution. It could also be, um, uh, a corrupt institution or a corrupt structure, power structure or group of people, a cult, a dark cult. All right. So somebody mess with you. Yeah, look at that. Four of wands, a structure. You are a twin flame. You are a chosen one. Eleven, eleven. A portal has been created through somebody's attack on you. All right. Because you are too strong with the seven of wands. You didn't even have to do much. All you did was stand your ground and live your truth right here. Live your truth. Be liberated. And somebody's lies or be exposed and they're made to apologize and have to learn how to heal through you. Have to learn how to balance out their thoughts in order to fight back with you made them exposed to a whole may expose a whole group of people here and it was destined for this to happen see if somebody never went up against you it wouldn't have exposed an entire institution because what i'm getting here is somebody was desperate to take you down and in the process they fumbled and it exposed an entire truth about an entire group, an entire church, an entire school, an entire organization, or an entire marriage, all right? Because you have the energy of marriage here, and it's bringing you together with something that, that is more stable for you, more grounded, and, and it's revealing to you that there is something that was always here for you that was taken from you, okay? That's what I'm getting, stolen, because we have the energy of something was stolen from you money a house a relationship like a true love um some official communication or paperwork a victory and you all you all you ever had to do was fight back was speak your truth and your truth put something to rest put someone else to rest 
and expose the teach. And the reason why you had to be the one that this happened to is because you are the star, okay? Meaning that you're the one that shines so bright, you shine a light on this institution, on these people, on this group. And this group needed to be able to see who they were dealing with, what they were dealing with, the kind of manipulation that would occur from this water sign. Okay, so what I'm getting here, Capricorn, uh, Taurus, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? And I'm getting strong air here as well. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Strong communication or strong victory or strong clarity around a situation that was super toxic where somebody was manipulating the truth or creating lies um, around you, okay? To try to make you paint you a picture that you were needy or or you were um, always manipulating people for financial gain or you were a bad this or a bad that or unjust person, Okay, but the thing is, you're not that person. So let that person attack you because all they do is expose themselves. Because at the end of the day, even if you're under investigation, all that's going to be found out is that you're not only a good person or a good worker, a good employee or a good lover or a good wife or a good husband, but you're actually the best that ever, there ever was. And this person is only going to be, it's fated for the devil to be exposed to this group. Okay, and for them to learn a spiritual lesson about who they partner with. That's what I'm getting. So significant break in the energy that you've been suffering through is going to bring you perfect work. Okay, that's what this says. Perfect work. Something you built is about to, is about to go. It, yeah, somebody's going out of their mind. Look, somebody's going out of their mind. They're so scared of being exposed, but it's too late. So something, an institution, of, again, a church, a group, or a marriage, or a union, something that was committed is being exposed. All right? Let's get an overall message from my acquaintance. Actually, I'm going to pull from this other deck. All right. So the overall message at this time. So it has to do with your life, because, again, if you didn't be the one to get to get persecuted in this situation, it would have never been exposed. Ooh, nine of fire again. So that's that nine of wands. I came out for um, Virgo, I believe. So somebody's sick and tired. Somebody is laid to rest. Yeah, their efforts were not ever going to succeed. Now you have the seven of coins. There's failed efforts due to someone um, who never got tired, okay? Somebody's never got tired of putting you down. They actually exposed themselves. They got caught climbing that tree, okay? They got caught trying to steal that steal that thing they used to get you down, Ogun. Okay, so now they're going to face the wrath. The wrath, okay? They're going to face the wrath. Because they they trying to, by them trying to do extra to get at you, only expose them to a higher group of people that can really punish them for what they punish them. I mean, like I said, you know, and the world card and a terrible situation finally comes to an end and gets exposed to the world. You are the catalyst, Aquarius. Look, two sevens, seven of water, seven of cups, somebody's smoking mirrors, somebody's smoke screens get exposed they can no longer hide behind illusions and delusions that they are a failure neighbor they're teeth in money have you have teeth in money here too from a government institution from a world institution or just over a long period of time okay some something is going to be seen from all angles and exposed to the world that's what i'm getting yeah the sun exposed comes out in the open somebody Somebody gets highlighted here. Maybe their partner or their boss or somebody gets caught. That's what I'm really getting. Yeah, that they're salamander. They're slimy. Look, and it's here too. Four of water. Oh my God. So that's what I'm getting. I'm getting like somebody's fear of rejection. I feel like somebody just was never as good as you. Like you are the sun. You shine super bright and you're powerful and you don't need things. You don't need people. Or you don't need a lot, I'll just say it like that, to shine bright in the world. And somebody's very jealous of that energy because they're just a salamander. <laughs> and that's okay too, you know, that's needed in the world as well. But the problem is a fire element that made them very angry. That made them want to burn up things around, the, around them, around you. That made them want to destroy you, all right? But it's saying that this situation, albeit horrible, was actually the most just way for something to new to be birthed in the world that is balanced that is just that is good okay because somebody had to be exposed that they're slimy that they're young-minded that they're um they you exercise fight or flight they hide their hand they do disgusting things and then hide their hand that they're a thief that they're always cutting you down at every turn that situation is going to end now simply because they they f with the wrong one when they f with you okay they tried to create illusions around you that just could not stick 
and they never got tired. They never got tired. But the thing is, the sun has come out to heal this situation, okay? And look, the sirens are out in the background. That's what I'm getting at with the police. The police, something is coming after this person now because they mess with you and you are the right one. And I'm Rakabande, right? One, that's what we always say in, um, as West Indians, right? And now they're gonna get the law laid down on them with the fire. They're gonna get the baton thrown at them. They're gonna get the magic, the wand, whoosh. All right? And it's a blessing for you because it highlights you in the best way possible. Someone's downfall or demise is literally your catalyst to greatness. You are ignored or you're the underdog in Aquarius, the sign of the underdog. And now you don't have to be the underdog in one drastic move. Somebody's, somebody's deception becomes your highlight. Okay? Wow. That's powerful, Aquarius. So let's get one overall energy. I'm just going to pull one card. I have this really tattered deck, but I just love it so much. Um, so I'm going to pull one card from that. So beware, it's very tattered. Look at that. You have the five of wands. So you have chaos. Chaos. Something chaos is created around you. There are a lot of obstacles around you. There's a lot of drama. Okay? But the good thing is, it's temporary. Because it is the five of wands. All right? Um, which means that it's just minuscule don't worry on the small things people are gonna be fighting over you don't worry about the competition don't worry about the obstacles that were put in your way if you have inner conflict around something let it go because it's just petty arguments and petty drama it's petty it's all going to come full circle it is necessary okay it is a necessary change let people argue over you let the situation blow up because you're above it all anyway it was never good enough for you anyway let me get one more for aquarius yeah the empress because you're the empress baby it's helping you to birth. It's helping to highlight, like I said, the fact that somebody was always trying to block an empress. It doesn't matter if you're a male or female. They're always trying to block your abundance, your success, the, the creativity that you birth in the world. And it could never be blocked. You could never be blocked. In fact, the more they mess with you, the more they refuse to, what? Learn from their karma. The more you blossom. Okay? When people mess with you, they mess with God's chosen one. I want you to, I want you to know that. All right? On that, I'm gonna leave it right there, okay, Aquarius? So, it could be a Taurus or um, a uh, Libra of significance, but you have the energy of Venus here. Something is growing in abundance for you at this time. Allow things to fall apart and you to grow and glow up from it, all right? Love you guys, talk soon. That's your full moon in Sagittarius message. Bye.